How's it going everybody? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 9 in my introduction to Python series. In this video we're going over if statements and normally I have kind of numbered 1, 2, 3 what I'm going to go over in the video but in this video I'm just going over an, like just if statements which can't really be divided into subcategories so every if statement starts with an if and then there's some sort of condition so it would be if and then in here is your condition you put a colon and then everything indented is executed if that condition is met so and just say print we can print some random thing if that condition is not met it goes on to the else if statements which is l if and these also have a condition and you can have a bunch of else if statements condition and in the end if none of those else if statements are met there's an else else has no condition it's just you know if no condition has been met up to this point execute this so it's kind of like your default operation so every if statement has at least one if but there can only be one if inside the whole if statement if i put another if here it's going to think it's a new if statement so one if as many else ifs as you need and then one else at the end now you only need the if statement you don't have to include these if you don't want to just something you can use you don't have to include them if you don't want they're just ways to go through and I don't know. It, you can do a bunch of if statements it just it makes your code better I guess and then you know if one condition hasn't been met you kinda narrowed in a little bit now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a function so define is even and as a parameter it's gonna take a variable x and now in here we're gonna put an if statement so if and the condition we want is x mod 2 now if you remember my uh, videos earlier in the series on math you'll know mod is the remainder of the integer division so integer division is the two division signs and a two in this case so that's how many times can two go into x uh... without a remainder and this is the remainder whatever is left after the integer division that's the remainder so in order for this to be even, by definition, x mod 2 has got to be equal to 0. Now, in if statements, you put 2 equal sign to say is exactly equal to. You can put a less than sign to say less than. You can put a less than and an equal sign to say less than or equal to. And then you can put a greater than sign, or you can put a greater than or equal to. And then finally, you can put an exclamation point and an equal sign to say not equal to. But in this case, we want to know when it's equal to zero. So we put two equal sign to say the condition is true when x mod 2 is equal to zero. And just like a function, we use a colon, and then we indent. And whatever, we, whatever code we put in here in the indent is what's going to be executed if this condition is met. Now, I can't remember if I've mentioned this in the series already or not, but Booleans, Booleans are either true or false. Capital T and a capital F. Um, you'll notice they turn blue because they're keywords. And it's, it's the truth value. So, this here is actually a Boolean. If it's true, then uh, it executes. If it's false, then it doesn't. So, every if statement takes a Boolean. Technically, if we wanted to, we could say if true, and then it executes no matter what. But we're not going to do that. So in this case, we're going to say if x is uh, mod 2 is equal to 0, 
return true. So we're going to return that the number is in fact even. Else if x mod 2 does not equal oops sorry exclamation equal does not equal 0 then return false so that is our function oops I did it wrong here it's l if my apologies so I'm going to clear out this terminal I was running. So, I've already navigated to my folder where the Python file is saved. Click on ls, and there is the file that we've made. So, we're going to type in python minus i so we can interact with the file and call the function. And then we're going to put in the file name, which is if.py, and click enter. Now we can call a function which is is even, and we're going to pass in the number 9, so we should get a true value of false. But if we pass in a true value of 8, for example, we're going to get true. So that is what we wanted the function to do. Now, technically, in this case, we could do a more else if statements, or we can end with an else and say, you know, if it's not, if this isn't true and this isn't false, then. Uh, you know, maybe say like, oh, you didn't enter a number because a number has to be either even or uh, odd. So uh, you do an else statement like that. But in this case, how I'm going to incorporate else statements in the tutorial is just saying, if this statement isn't true, then it has to be false. So I'm just going to change this else if into an else statement. So return true if it's even, otherwise it's return false, because if it's a number is not even, then it has to be false. And uh, be odd. So, here we go. We're going to quit out. Relaunch the program. And now, if I type in is even again, we all know even works because we haven't changed it, but just to show you that odd works still, there you go. Now I'm going to show you how you can use multiple conditions in an if statement. So, I'm just going to leave the function name, but we're just going to put multiple conditions in here. So, uh, we're going to say is even, and we'll say small, I guess. I don't know. Just create a random function. So, in this case, we're going to say if it's equal to zero, and then we're going to put an and. And for this, we're going to define a uh, number of being small if it's less than or equal to 10, say. So that means both of these conditions have to be met. Even if one's met, if the other is not met, then uh, the statement is going to be false. And if I put an or in, it just means one of the conditions has to be true. So, I'm going to say and, and I'm going to copy this function now, and call this function is even or small. And we're going to change this and into an or. And there can be multiple ors. I can also put an and in there. like. You can put really as many conditions as you want. So we're going to save this and run it now. Oops. Uh, all right. I'm just going to clear to clean the terminal up a bit. Now, if we run the file, is even and small. I'm going to put an 11 and it should return false and it does and if I put in 12 it's also going to return false because even though it is an even number it's greater than 10 so that doesn't mean our other condition but now if I put in as even or small it is correct 
because only one of the conditions has to be met. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it with an odd number just to show you. So 9 less than 10. And it also returns true. So, and both conditions have to be met, or only one condition has to be met. So, I thank you guys for watching this video. That is all you really need to know at this point about if statements. Remember to comment, like the video, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.